In Ugaritic mythology, Bol does not directly rebel against El, the chief god. Instead, the narratives focus more on Baal's conflicts with other deities and his efforts to assert his position within the divine hierarchy, with El often acting as a somewhat distant overseer rather than a direct opponent. These battles are central themes in the Bol cycle. Yama and El are distinct deities with different roles and characteristics. The narrative portrays Yam as the candidate favored by the senior god El, though ultimately it is Bol who emerges victorious. El, El is the chief god of the Ugaritic pantheon, often considered the father of the gods and the supreme deity. El is typically portrayed as a wise and benevolent ruler, the patriarch of the divine family, and the ultimate authority among the gods. Yam, Yam is the god of the sea, and chaos. He represents the destructive and uncontrollable aspects of nature. Yam is often depicted as a rival to Bol, the storm god. He is associated with the sea, and sometimes portrayed as a dragon or sea monster. In the Bol cycle, Baal's conflict with Yam is a central theme. Yam, demanding submission from the other gods, challenges Baal's authority, but Bol ultimately defeats Yam to establish his own supremacy. El, on the other hand, presides over the divine council and plays a more neutral or supervisory role in these conflicts. This distinction is crucial in understanding the dynamics of Ugaritic mythology, where different gods represent various natural forces and social roles, and their interactions reflect the mythological and religious worldview of the ancient Near Eastern peoples. The relationship between Bol and Yam is characterized by rivalry and conflict rather than a hierarchical subordination. Yam, the sea god, and Bol, the storm god, are depicted as rival deities. Yam's demand for supremacy threatens Baal's position and authority among the gods. This rivalry comes to a head when Yam demands that the gods submit to his rule, and Bol opposes this demand leading to their confrontation. Yam sends messengers to the Divine Council, presided over by El, to demand that Bol and the other gods submit to him. El initially seems inclined to grant Yam's request, but Bol vehemently opposes it, defying Yam's messengers and preparing for battle. Bol, with the support of the craftsman god Carthur Washington Cosses, acquires weapons and confronts Yam. In a climactic battle, Bol defeats Yam, establishing himself as a dominant deity and securing his position within the pantheon. Baal's actions throughout the conflict indicate his independence and determination to assert his authority, rather than any previous subordination to Yam. The conflict between Bol and Yam illustrates the dynamic and often contentious relationships among the gods in Ugaritic mythology with each deity vying for power and influence within the framework overseen by El. The Bull Cycle KTU 1.2-48 and KTU 1.4-30-41 provides a narrative where Bull defies the messenger gods of Yam, a rival deity, who demands Baal's surrender. Bull rebukes the messengers and ultimately defeats Yam, claiming kingship within the Divine Council. This cycle is acknowledged by scholars as a clear mythic and literary precedent for similar scenes in later biblical texts. When cross-referencing this with the fall of Lucifer, several parallels can be drawn, rebellion and defiance. Bol defies Yam's messengers and engages in a conflict to establish his authority. Lucifer, in Christian tradition, rebels against God, seeking to elevate his status above his rightful place, divine counsel. The Bol, Yam conflict and eventual kingship take place within the context of a divine council. Lucifer's rebellion and subsequent fall are often depicted in the heavenly council, where he is judged by God, conflict and resolution, Bol battles and defeats Yam, securing his position as king. Lucifer battles against God and is ultimately cast out of heaven, signifying his defeat ultimate outcome, Bol gains supremacy and becomes the king of gods. Lucifer suffers a dramatic fall from grace, becoming Satan, the adversary. 
The similarities suggest that the narrative structure of divine rebellion and conflict in the bull cycle may have influenced later biblical and theological themes, including the story of Lucifer's fall. Both narratives reflect the ancient Near Eastern motif of celestial rebellion, emphasizing themes of defiance, conflict, and the restoration or establishment of divine order.